Hi friends! It's a little bit different from my normal videos where I am providing resources that help postgraduate students and researchers, but for those of you that use R, this is hopefully going to be useful. We can see here an error message that came out recently when I tried to install a package, and it's requesting R tools. So for many of you, if you have upgraded R to version 4, uh, you may well have seen this error message. For most of you, it's actually not too big of a deal. It's only relevant if you're trying to install a package that has been built using C or Fortran. And for most of the common packages, that's not the case. However, in this video, I will quickly go through how to install R tools. It's pretty quick and easy. And that will get rid of this error message and mean that if you do come across a package uh, where it is relevant, uh, you're not going to run into any issues. So if you are a Windows user, you can come to this page uh, on the R project site. I will link it below the YouTube video. And you can see here that there's EXE files for the 64-bit or 32-bit. If you have a modern computer, it's typically going to be 64-bit. Uh, so download that file uh, and then run it and then scroll down to the bottom half of the page and here on the lower half of the page there's a couple of ways of activating our tools the easiest is to take that right lines command and to just copy and paste it into R and run it and then there's some test code there where you can test to see whether it works or not uh, but certainly for me, it was all very straightforward. Um, I did a quick search. I couldn't see anyone online who was struggling to get it to work. I would imagine that path path names would be the the most likely issue on Windows if it didn't. Uh, but hopefully that's quite straightforward for you. Then for Mac users, uh, for Mac, you should uh, get the Xcode program. Uh, it should be available in the Apple App Store. Uh, I have a website here that gives you the details of just what to run to install that. Uh, I don't have a Mac myself, uh, so I haven't been able to test this, uh, but certainly it looks like it should be similarly straightforward to the Windows version. So there we have it. We've done the Windows and Mac for sorting out that R tools warning message. Um, for most of you, it shouldn't have been an issue in the first place, but always nice to be running things and not generating the warning messages. Uh, so hopefully this video was helpful for you.